All right, guys, what's up? Wally Beach River Landscapes. We're on one of our properties today. Obviously, obviously that's where we're at. Where else would we be? We're really behind and we're shorthanded. There's only three of us instead of five of us out here on this property, the other truck's on another property. Um, you know, we just have tons of trimming to do. Um, we gotta get everything mowed. I'm gonna do all the mowing. Um, I'm gonna do all the hedge trimming. They're gonna do the weed eating and edging. Um, and we're just gonna try to get it all done. We got rain coming in, which really sucks. That sucks. So I'm gonna be using my Husqvarna 525 LSCs, you guys, um, or the HF3 um, S's, sorry. Um, the, it's missing the bolt right before the gearbox, so the blades shift a little bit left and right. That sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's gone, so you'll probably end up seeing that. I've um, got the GoPro 7 today. Um, Leah and the girls got it for me for Father's Day, um, which is not yet, but we celebrated it yesterday. Long story short, we kind of switched up some things, so we celebrated uh, Mother's Day with Leah, since she's an awesome stepmom, and then celebrated Father's Day early uh, because I won't have them on um, actual Father's Day this year. Um, so they got me a GoPro 7, um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that handles. They call it the gimbal killer, so we're about to find out. But anyways, strap in, we gotta get busy, we gotta knock this out before the rain comes, all right? Yeah. <laughs>
guys, so I got them blowing. I didn't grab enough blowers from splitting up the truck. I should have grabbed one more blower. I feel bad that they're out there blowing without me, but I'm in here making some phone calls, making some use of my time. We're pretty slammed up right now, man. I got I got to get a bunch of stuff. We're going to Scotland soon. Uh, I'm going to Scotland uh, a week from like tomorrow or Wednesday. Yeah, going to Scotland. That's gonna be freaking dope. Gonna go there. Um, Leah's cousin's getting married, so we're gonna take the kids. We're gonna rent a camper van, and we're gonna go to Scotland. We'll be in Scotland there for about eight days. And we'll be driving around the place. Just, you know, roaming around, stopping where we want to. Will that work? Guy go in there and be like, I'm brown, Scottish boy. I'm brown and I'm Scottish. I don't know if that'll work. I watch Braveheart a lot. I'm Irish, but I don't know why I'm obsessed with Scottish stuff, man. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that just now. Anyways, um, so gonna go to Scotland and trying to get a lot of this stuff done. I have demos to do, landscaping installs to do, a bunch of condos to do, catch up work on a lot of the properties to do, and I gotta get it all done by next week, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But it don't matter, gotta get done. Couple things, the laser edge blades are just killing it. Um, third day on the Gravely with those. The Gravely is killing it. Um, and I didn't get any video of it this morning, but the Skag is broke down again. So I reached out to Kohler because I love those people. They're awesome. Um, trying to help me figure out what's going on. Friday, it ran perfect. Um, it's only 800 hours on it. You know, you guys, I've already replaced the wheel motor, the fuel pumps, the fuel lines, um, some other things on there too. I keep getting lemons, man. I'm really hoping the Gravely's not a lemon. I had lemon issues with the Hustler too. And anyways, so it just turns over and you can just feel it has no spark to it. It has no pop. It's just and it's not even like an exciting turnover. It's more like a no compression turnover, but it's got compression. But you know what I'm saying? This, that, for you guys that know what I'm talking about, just that real lazy sounding, um, that lazy feeling like start. It's just, there's like nothing there. Um, it's turning over and then it feels like that's about it. There's fuel getting in there. The fuel filter's full. Um, took the, you know, I didn't take the fuel filter off to see if it was pumping fuel. I just didn't have all this, you know, I just didn't have all the time for that because if that's what's happening, it's gonna have to go to the shop anyway. So ended up taking it out to AgPro. Those are my boys, I love those dudes, Aaron and them. So took it out to AgPro. So hopefully something's up. We're gonna have to use the Hustler as a backup. We got the Gravely and the Hustler going. Um, so we're gonna have to use that, uh, the yeah, Hustler as a backup. Um, and it's always good to have a backup mower, man. Um, anytime you guys are just like, ah, I don't need this mower, these are good, I'm gonna let it go. No matter how good the manufacturer are, there is going to be issues. And you cannot say that all these mowers suck because they have issues. Now granted, I've had way more issues with the Skag than I think that I should have with a mower. Way more issues. I should not be replacing all of the stuff, you know what I mean, in 800 hours. But it is what it is. So it's not whining or complaining, I'm just letting you guys know that the Skag is down again and it's going, it's at AgPro. See if they can figure out what's going on. They didn't have a loaner this time, which sucked, but we, it doesn't suck because we have a backup mower anyway. So we got backup mower, um, split the trucks up again tomorrow. So we're running um, two trucks, uh, Mondays and Tuesdays right now. Um, so that's what we're doing. And then we have like the full crew on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays because we need it on Thursdays and Fridays for sure. 66 acre property split up and it's just ridiculous. So anyways, um, uh, they're gonna finish up blowing. I'm gonna go drop them off with the other guys so they can help them finish wrapping that up. Um, and that's what we're going to do for the day. I got all kinds of crap to go do, man. Oh my God, I do not have the time. So, uh, something I'm telling the guys. So, like tomorrow, we have a really small new condo and then we have like a really big condo that's 42 acres, but we're able to like get that thing done by like 4.30, 5 o'clock at the latest. The big one. So, I'm gonna tell the guys, man, if we have enough guys, um, do you want to alternate Tuesdays? Like y'all do the small eight acre property and go home early that day. Um, and y'all alternate every other week. Um, or do you just want, whenever we're done with a small one, go to the big one and help everybody out. 
So gonna let them rule, vote on that, majority rules, man, you know? Not letting your guys make decisions for you and your business, but you know, in this, in this case, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, because it doesn't matter to me as long as the job gets done. I'll be out there with them on the small condo. And then it's like you can either go home or you can go to the other one and help them help them out, you know, and vice versa. And they're all going to vote on that. So we're going to let them vote on that. Um, what else, guys? Um, my mom's doing, um, you know, as good as she can. We had a good day, Mother's Day. We went up there, put her in a jerry chair, able to get her outside. She kind of walked. We walked around while, you know, I pushed her. Um, the whole family was there for the most part, which was really cool. Um, so that was a really good day. We'll take that. Put some sunglasses on her. She started laughing. So that was good. That was a good day. I hope all of you, um, you know, called your mom or had a good Mother's Day if you watch. Um, otherwise, man, you know, I'm, you know, that's it. I, I really got nothing else for you, man. I mean, I got all kinds of crap. I just ain't got enough time to cover it right now. Um, so the Gravely Pro Stance has just been dominating. Um, I'm really to a point to where um, I don't want to not use it um, but I gotta just you know we gotta keep the hours low on it for right now um, so we only use it when we're splitting up the trucks but the mower is just phenomenal the way that it handles hills even my 36 inch Skag V-Ride does not handle the hills the embankments as well as a 60 inch gravely pro stance so sorry I'm just telling you you can you know argue with me and say what you want but I'm just gonna tell you I've used both in the same spot and thus far the skag and you guys have seen a video a while back where the 36 inch like nose dove tried to go into the pond I've not had that nose heavy feeling on the pro stance since I've been on one and since I've used one I've not had that and I pointed that out um, when we were at the gravely um, um, ambassador event last year and this year like the the nose is just not heavy like you're used to feeling on a you know a stander so when you're on these embankments and you're getting kind of low if anything the back is going to slip the front just the front does not nose down does not nose dive which is awesome i love it um the gravely is bad to the bone man our next mower is i'm um, going to be a pro stance uh another pro stance for sure so um, we're a ways off from that because we have three big mowers now um, and we don't need any more than that. Um, it's definitely good to keep a backup. So that's where we're at. All right, guys, I'm going to go check on them. I hope you all have a magnificent day, people. I hope that the rest of your day is so beautiful that tears come out of your eyeballs like a waterfall that has been shrunk down and shoved in your face. All right, man. Peace.